Hey, what's going on? Matt here. This is episode 15 of Brown Bag with Maximum Beverage. That makes it a solid three weeks of episodes every day. We haven't missed a beat. Um, again, delivering one wine every day, Monday through Friday, for an entire year. When we're all said and done, 260 total wines, blind tasted, and giving you our opinions on it. Really, my opinion. We're going to have some guests coming up on uh, the next few episodes, uh, but I've been ta I've tasked these guys with getting some wines that I can't guess. So I wanted them to tr kind of trick me a little bit and go a little bit higher end, um, and we'll see where we're at. So I don't know if they've done that or not. Uh, again, it's February 28th, 2-28. Let's get into this one. Got a red wine. Fair amount of oak on the nose. Fairly oppressive oak. Getting some cherry. A little blackberry. A little bit of earth too. A little, not a ton of earth, but it's got good fruit. Again, a lot of toasted oak. Like uh, almost charcoal charcoal-ish with a little vanilla. Big in the mouth, good amount of tannins. Definitely leaning, um, which we've been heavy on this. This could be Rioja, but I don't think it's Rioja because it's a different kind of earthiness. Earthiness. It's got like that Tuscan, um, Sangiovese earthiness going on. This is a pretty expensive wine. A lot of richness. This is not uh, going to be a wine for everyone because there's there's a fair amount of oak. So people that like oak are going to love this. Um, people that like a fresher style uh, are not necessarily going to love this. So uh, I think for what it's trying to do, it's executing it well. Um, I'm going to give this. Uh, not, uh, I'm going to say this is like a 9 out of 10. Um, it's definitely Italian. I'm thinking Tuscany. I'm thinking Sangiovese. I can't quite nail down. I'm not going to say it's Chianti. I'm not going to say, um, you know, it's like a Vino de Nobile or, or something like that. Um, it could be. It's got something else in there. It's not 100% Chianti because it's a fairly big wine. Um, I'm going to say retails right around $26. Um, nine, nine out of ten. This is definitely good juice. Maybe nine point one. I'll give it a nine point one out of ten. Um, let's see what it is. There we go. The Italian Rosso, Magic Door Rosso. See, if you had told me this, that's what this was, I wouldn't have guessed. I've had this wine half a dozen times. Um, Really tasty, delicious, um, a super Tuscan. You know, it's got the Rosso Toscana IGT on there. Uh, we've done a lot of stuff with this. Um, I think it retails right at 25 bucks. Um, it's definitely uh, worth all of that. You know, we've said in the past this drinks like a $40 wine. Um, I went a little low uh, to kind of, because I, I was just kind of guessing these guys weren't pulling $40 wines out yet. So I guess I have sort of a, a, a leading edge on that. Um, but this is great wine, roast. You know, Magic Door. This is guy that, from the guys that do uh, 90 plus sellers. So Magic Door Rosso Toscano 2011. 2011 was a solid vintage. Uh, this is definite a definite buy. It was a buy before uh, when we did. An, uh, we've done a deal on it. We've featured it uh, in various ways. So um, definitely didn't have the wine in my head. But this is uh, that's the right grape. I think there's a little bit of Cabernet in this. Uh, I think like you know 10 or 15 percent at least. Um, but delicious. Magic Door Rosso Toscana, 2011, a definite buy.